Hello everybody, today I am sharing some more mixed media cards with you and in this video I am concentrating on making masculine cards because it's a problem for a lot of us, making cards for men is always a little bit more of a struggle than making other cards because a lot of craft supplies are not geared towards that type of thing, there's lots of sparkly happy pinky florals, you know what I mean, I'm not saying men can't have pinky sparkly florals, but generally speaking, like, I'm not gonna make a card with pink florals on for my dad. I mentioned that because one of the cards I make in this video was the Father's Day card that I made for him a couple of weeks ago, but yes. So I'm using 13 Arts Grungy Walls paper pack, which as you can see is kind of grungy and kind of masculine in places. Now there are a few papers on this that have some like pretty, very beautiful sort of florals amongst the grungy backgrounds, and again I'm not saying that you can't have florals for men, of course you can, but that just wasn't the vibe that I was going for with these cards. So the six, well, slightly smaller than six by six card bases I have cut there are actually two sides of the same paper. I've just used one paper from that pack throughout this whole video. I am ripping up some little sections of a super wide washi that just has like newsprint and that sort of thing, old adverts and things on there and just collaging that all over the, those card bases. And then I'm bringing out some Finnevere tissue paper. I've forgotten the name of this one. I think I wrote it down. Oh, it's the Romantica paper or tissue paper. And I'm going to collage some bits and pieces from that onto those cards as well, just as I've done with the washi. I'm using the Distress or Tim Holtz um, vintage collage medium for that. I've used that in a video fairly recently. It's just just normal like matte medium collage medium, but it's tinted that kind of tea dye colour. So you get that really lovely vintage effect when you use it to collage tissue paper or rice paper or whatever. So do let me know in the comments if you have trouble making masculine cards as well. I know you can buy like sets that are like full of garagey things and cars and tools and really stereotypical man things. But you have to buy a separate set for that, if you know what I mean. I'd rather use what I have rather than have to buy something particular. So this is what I'm doing in this video, just using things that I already have rather than, as I said, buying, spending money on one particular paper pack or whatever that's geared, more geared towards men. Anyways, right, with that collaging done, I pulled out this little vintage die cut book, which is from the works. I pulled out a few bits and pieces for that. Did help with these cards that, that both of them were being made for a particular person. So the one that's on the right with the lighter background, that's going to end up being a Father's Day card. And the one on the left is for someone for their 40th birthday. So yeah, I pulled out a few bits from that little book. I'm not going to use all of them, but I found that little vintage bike against a fence and that person really is really into bikes and biking and stuff so I thought that would work really well for him and then I'm going through Tim Holtz ephemera because it's a really obvious thing to do this is a super old ephemera pack from Tim Holtz I've had it for such a long time and then here I'm going through the snippets version of that which if you're not familiar like all the ephemera packs that Tim Holtz does now you get like a teeny tiny baby version as well. I'll try and link it. I'm totally blanking on the name. It might be Thrift Shop, something like that. As I said, I've had it for years. Um, I pulled a clock out of one of those uh, Tim Holtz packs and I remembered I had a Minte fussy cutting sheet which had some other clocks on so I've cut those out for the one for my dad because my dad's really into antique clocks and stuff and then I just wanted to do some stenciling in the background of each one so the triangles one I'm using there is from Marami Smaller and I'm using a Nouveau embellishment mousse in Persian red on that one I thought that a uh, bronzy orangey red would look quite nice on that distressed greeny background would be a nice contrast and then on the lighter card I'm using a clock stencil because as I kind of said I'm kind of ended up doing a clock theme for that one and using embellishment mousse in fresh copper though there was still a little bit of the Persian red left on my um Boba, palette knife, totally blanked on what that was. I was about to call it a spoon, believe it or not. Anyway, so there's a little bit of red mixed in with that copper as well, because I didn't wash it off, but it actually worked out really, really nicely. So with those dried off, clearly I did that off camera, I went into one of my many little boxes of random mixed media things and pulled out some burlap and some chipboard that you saw for a second there. 
Um, I went just with the burlap just to add another texture and something to the card and then I'm just going to start layering up all the ephemera bits and pieces that I've pulled out. Um, so concentrating on the greeny card for the 40th birthday one, I'm going to go around all the little bits and pieces with Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo, quite an obvious colour to use for these cards, and yeah, just layer up all those little bits of ephemera. For that main bit with the bicon, I've put little foam squares on part of it, so it's going to lie flush at the same level with that burlap. I didn't notice until later on that I've pulled out that thing that says 45 cents, and I thought... Later on, I'm like, oh my goodness, is he going to think that I think he's 45 and not 40? Because I was just using it as, you know, a little bit of ephemera to build up lots of texture and whatnot and have loads of things going on. But later I went, oh, is he going to think that? But thankfully, it's kind of partially covered up and I do add a 40 elsewhere. So hopefully he won't think that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to go around the whole card base with the vintage photo as well. And then I'm going to do the same on my Father's Day card and start layering everything up and sticking it all down. But with the clocks, I poked a hole through the middle of each one and just put a little tiny brad in the centre because I just I thought it looked a bit better. They've all got a little dot or something in the centre and I just thought something there would be nice. And because the brad is like metal, it just adds another texture and element layer and stuff I just yeah I thought that would look nice again I'm going to go around all the edges of that with that vintage photo and just do the same around the edges layering up all the little elements with this one though once I'd got all my elements down I still was like yeah, something missing it's not quite right so on one of those that minte um, fussy cutting sheet that I used it's actually one of their freebies um there was some like they're kind of like the shape of hydrangea flowers so I'm just going to call them hydrangeas um but they're a brownie color kind of like dead ones that doesn't sound very nice to say but they're a brownie color so I thought I'd include some of those because as I said men can have flowers too and I just thought they would look quite nice um just dotted around on the card I know my dad likes flowers like whenever my mum gets flowers from whoever or whatever she usually puts one or two in a little vase and my dad has it by on his desk it's very sweet um so yes yeah, so I just added a few of those and then again I still wasn't I wasn't 100% happy with everything so I pulled a couple of things out from some old Kayser Craft sticker sheets like that little thing of the drawers and a, just a little number one just you know lots of elements and areas of interest and stuff now what I need to do is add my sentiments, so I'm going to stamp and emboss on the same paper that I've used for both of these cards. I'm just going to flip them over for each card, so on the lighter card I'm going to use the other side with the green and vice versa for the green card. So stamping Happy Father's Day for this one with a dark coppery embossing powder and then Happy Birthday for the other one. I think I'm just going to use a black embossing powder for that one. They're both Dovecraft stamps and um, they can be really hard to link sometimes they're easier to get hold of in places like the range um often on amazon it's got that thing where it's like will be dispatched in one to three months and you're like i'm not gonna buy that if it's gonna be dispatched in one to three months anyway that was a side ramble there so yes i did emboss that happy birthday in black and then with both of those i'm gonna cut around them and then back them again with another piece of contrasting card going around the edges with the vintage photo of course like I always do and then sticking them down in place so at this point I needed to put my card bases onto some card blanks I wanted to do that before adding the nouveau drops because if I waited until after I did the nouveau drops I would have to wait for those drops to dry first that was a really convoluted sentence, but I'm sure you know what I mean. But what I did with the card blanks, because I'd cut those bases smaller than the card blanks, I just thought it would add like just a little extra something if there was a border around, but I didn't want to back it with something glittery or foiled or whatever. So I'm just going to take that card blank and go around that with a big heavy layer of the Oxide in Vintage Photo, just like that, and then just stick those bases on just with a butt ton of double sided tape. I don't like to use a glue gun for this stage because you know sometimes you stick things down with a glue gun especially over a big surface area it can be a bit uneven and the card might stick up in awkward places where bigger clumps of the glue gun is dried and stuff so 
that's why I don't use a glue gun for that. And then I'm just doing exactly the same thing with the Father's Day card. And then once that is done, I'm going to add some splatters and then my Nouveau drops. I'm also going to use some of the Dovecraft enamel effects drops, you know, the Dovecraft version of Nouveau drops. Um, the splatters are Distressed Spray Stain in Tarnished Brass, I think. Just, you know, it's like it's metallic and it's got a goldy, brassy. It just goes so well with that kind of vintagey background and then the Nouveau drops I'm using are in Copper Penny and then I'm using the gold Dovecraft enamel effects which um, you have to sort of tap them from behind to flatten them out otherwise you're going to get an awkward like little peak when they dry but yes then they are done hooray so thank you so so much for watching and um, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed chat to me in the comments links will be in the description box and yeah again as I said let me know if you have trouble with masculine cards as well maybe hopefully these gave you some ideas if you do anyway I'm going to shut up and go thank you so much again bye bye